Hello everybody, Mike here at Game From Scratch, and it's not often on this channel that I'm going to talk about Unity beta releases, but this one is a big enough deal that I am going to make a video about it because they finally fixed DPI scaling. Finally. I bought my first 4K monitor, I think, in 2015, and I've been looking at blurry text in Unity ever since. And finally, in Unity 2018.2 beta, the high DPI scaling is fixed. So I did this video basically just so that the other people that are suffering the same pain as I know that there is relief on the horizon. You know, I never recommend using beta releases for production. This might be the only time I would make that exception because I hate the font scaling that exists in standard Unity. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a brand new beta release. Now Unity 2018.1 final was just released three or four days ago. I did a video about it if you want some details on what's in that release and they're immediately following it up with the 2018.2 new beta refresh and there's a number of features in this um, that are of some interest. There's texture map streaming support, uh, package manager updates, particle system updates, camera physical property settings, high DPI monitor support, thank goodness. Uh, animation jobs, C-sharp, and then other improvements is what they threw it down as, which is funny because one of the biggest things is in this little other improvements, and that is right, where did it go, where did it go? There it is. Added Vulkan support in the Unity editor on Windows and Linux. So if you are using uh, Unity, check this out, see what the performance is like. I haven't really noticed a huge ramification, but they basically switched from... Um, which I'm not sure what they used internal. I think DirectX, possibly, but it might have been OpenGL, to using Vulkan in the editor. And I haven't really noticed any major performance differences personally, uh, but I haven't also tested it heavily. So that's a pretty major change, but the one above and beyond everything else is the high DPI support. That is awesome. Uh, I, I've been waiting for that for, like I said, three or four years now. Now, I'm running the spring update of Windows, and it actually fixed high DPI scaling to a certain degree, so the contrast I'm about to show you is a little bit less bad than what most people, if you haven't upgraded to the newest version of Windows yet, your DPI scaling is way worse than what we're gonna see. Uh, but let me just go ahead and show you. So this here is the new version. This here is the old version. And down here is what we are interested in. Now let me just bring up the magnifier. And this is old school fonts. So that's what things look like in 2018.1. Um, and this thing just kills my computer when I'm running it. So that was old school, new school. It helps if I can spell that right. All right, let's bring that back up. Oh, so much nicer. So you'll notice your text super crisp and you can now scale it up to a ultra high resolution. You don't get that ugly blurriness going on or anything else. So again, this is a change I have been waiting for uh, years for it to come uh, and it's awesome to see that it's finally here and if you're again if you are running a version of uh, Windows that's a little bit older the difference is going to be even more profound I actually found some text on Unity borderline unreadable in the early versions of Windows 10 so like I said they fixed Windows 10 to a certain degree so the spots DPI scaling wasn't quite as awful so if you're running an older version of Windows 10 this patch is probably an even bigger deal for you uh, as far as stability goes, I haven't noticed any difference. Actually, kind of ironically, here is the same um, scene. Here is the new version. Notice this guy back here. Now here is the old version, and I have a broken texture. So I'm actually getting better performance out of 2018.2 than I am out of 2018.1. And one of those other things that I've been hearing a lot from the community is that it seems like 2018.1 wasn't the most stable of patches that Unity has ever released. So you may not actually have much to lose for trying the 2018.2 uh, beta for your production development if you're already on 2018.1. Although, back everything up, that's stupid advice. I am not telling you to do this. I'm just saying the if you're working in this day in, day out, the crisp font, this, this is just a thing of beauty. So here, you might be able to see it in here. This code, kind of bleh. This code, super crisp, super nice to work with. It's just across the board, worth worth doing the upgrade in my opinion. And like I said, worth doing a video about a beta release, something that I will traditionally not do. Uh, so that is Unity 2018.2, finally, finally, finally they fixed font DPI scaling. 
things don't look like a blurry mess anymore. It's also true up here in the menus, in their icons, and their buttons. Everywhere there is text, it is now not a blurry mess, and I am just delighted for that. So let me know what you think. Are you uh, excited to see this change? Uh, have you been using uh, Unity on a high deep guy monitor and suffering like I have? Or do you not notice it or not care? It's funny. I showed my wife, and she's like, I, I don't see a difference. But then again, she also didn't really see a difference between 480p and 1080p, so she's probably not the best judge of... Uh, of high resolution differences. Now, if you are interested in grabbing this guy, you can get it at uh, Unity Beta download site. I will throw this link down below uh, along with the, um, the README and a link to the Game From Scratch news article that discussed all this in the first place. So if you are interested in grabbing this guy, uh, like I said, I haven't seen any stability issues compared to 2018.1. It actually runs slightly better for me. So uh, this is the one I'm gonna switch to. I'm actually gonna uninstall 2018.1 and just use 2018.2 beta until uh, you know, a, 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 an actual stable release comes along. Also, check it out. Let me know how Vulkan worked for you. Was the performance better, worse? Um, you know, some people see 20 to 30 percent improvements from Vulkan to straight OpenGL. Uh, so it'd be interesting to see if people are being able to push, you know, better scenes on um, uh, Vulkan-powered machines. So uh, do let me know what your experiences are down below. Do you care about DPI? Is that a thing for you? If not. Well, sorry to waste your time. If it is, I'm sure you like this news just as much as I did. All right, that's it for now. I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.